okay, I'm going to show you how to do this worksheet. And I'm going to do it off to the side. Let's see if we can uh, figure out how. All right, so number one, a car travels 400 uh, meters, and it's in 20 seconds. How? Uh, shadow. All right, and then they want to know um, how fast is it going. Hopefully that prevent the glare. And let's get it on straight focus. And they want to know what the velocity or the speed is. You write your formula down. You plug in what you know and what you don't know. You put 400 meters divided by 20 seconds. Put that in your calculator. And then your unit is meter per second. Number two, your car arrives, uh, when you arrive 45 seconds after leaving a math class, so now your time is 45 seconds. Uh, after leaving a math class, which is 90 meters away, that's the distance, 90 meters, seconds. How fast did you travel? Your velocity is question mark. Uh, you want to find uh, how fast? Uh, really, another glare. Okay, so again, velocity equals D over T. Should do 90 meters divided by 45 seconds. Here's your answer. Should be in meters per second. All right, number three. You arrive at my class, uh, wait, number three, I'm getting it wrong. You, after arriving at Mrs. Nagel's amazing physics class, and you need to get to another uh, class that is 200 meters away. So the distance is 200 meters. That's like twice a football length. Uh, football field length, and let's see, uh, you can only legally walk about 1.5 meters per second. So you think, like, uh, you can't uh, take a meter stick, da, 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 da. meter stick about one of these distances every um, second. So one and a half meters a second, it's about like six feet. All right, and then I've got to figure out uh, how much time. What's the question about time? So I take my velocity equals dt. I gotta solve for time. You can do it the long way, but if you're very lucky, you can see that when I have that formula, I can put the time up here. Let's say D over V. I have 200 meters. Ah! Divide by 1.5 meters per second. If you put this in your calculator, hopefully you can see it without the glare. 200 divided by 1.5. The time is 1, 133.3, it keeps repeating, seconds. Now, how do I know what that unit is? Well, I always know my time is in seconds, but here's my unit conversion. A meter divided by a meter per second. So I'm just kind of looking at here, the units. So what is that really? That's a meter divided by a meter per second. You can write any number over one without changing its meaning. Then you do flip the flag in, <laughs> a chair or bang, <laughs> whatever. That's when I take that number and then I multiply it by flipping this. Seconds over meters. I multiply by the reciprocal. Yeah, you can't see that. Now I multiply uh, my numerators together, and then I multiply my denominators together. But if you're really smart, I can see that the meters cancel out. So now when I multiply this together, S times 1 is just S, or seconds. 1 times 1 makes it 1. So my final answer is just seconds. OK. Now we're going to do number 4. All right, number four says a baseball is thrown at 40 meters per second. How much time? We don't know what time is. Does the ball take to travel a distance of 18.3 meters? Well, I write my equation down. Velocity equals D over T. I put my uh, question mark is my time. So I'm going to flip these two, legit math. Time is equal to D over V. 18.3 meters divided by 40 meters per second. T 
time is, yeah, I would love to do that in my head, 18.3 divided by 40. And eh, there you go, this looks better there. Point four, and I can round if I want to, um, to the hundredth place. And then my unit is a meter divided by meter per second. That double division, the meters cancel out, seconds is on top. Otherwise, meter divided by meter per second equals like this. That's what this is. This becomes this. Now I gotta write this over here. You can write any number over one. La. Then I have meter over one. Flip, flip this. Multiply by the reciprocal. Seconds over meter. My meters cancel out. One times second is a second. One times one is one. Final unit is a second. So my time is 0.45 seconds. It's number four. Number five, your for five. I can't see that. Five initial velocity is 31 meters per second. Final velocity is 31 meters per second. I haven't. My average velocity is something called like the average. Is we only worry about two values the final and the initial, because we're extremely lazy. We don't like to do all that. And there's only two values, so you add them up. So 31 plus 31 divided by 2 is 62 divided by 2. Oh, it's 31. I haven't done anything. Meters per second. It's my average. What's the change in velocity? Change in velocity is V final minus V initial. 31 meters per second minus 31 meters per second. Wow. I haven't changed my velocity, so not accelerating. And then the final part, if you want to show a graph, the graph would look like V and T. The graph would be no change in velocity, so it's just a straight line. All right, well, let's see if we can do number seven. Number seven. Your velocity is 25 meters per second. Your time is 2.8 seconds. My initial velocity, that's why I have an I, is actually zero. From, ah, from rest. That's what that means. I'm going to move my cursor over here. So look, look over there. <laughs> this from rest. Ah. Where am I? I'm doing number seven. Yeah, from rest. That, that one. Okay. All right, so um, I'm trying to find what's the acceleration. All right, so A is, I use that equation, delta V, which means change in velocity. Hey, you went from zero to a final speed in a certain amount of time. So that's your acceleration. So you're going to do uh, V final minus V initial divided by time. The acceleration is 25 meters per second minus zero divide by uh, 2.8 seconds. My A is, so now I plug this in, 25 divided by 2.8, 8.9. Now my unit is meter per second divided by a second. If you don't know what that is, that's okay. Units, woo dimensional analysis. So meter per second divided by a second looks like this. Meter per second divided by, that's what this is. Yeah. Meter per second. So this division, this division looks like that. So that's your top, that's a fraction, and your bottom one just looks like S. So that just goes here. Now you have to write everything over one, just so it looks pretty, it doesn't change it. S divided by one is the same thing as S. Cherubang it, it's my made up symbol, taking meters per second, right there. Take your division, now multiply 
the reciprocal of this, 1 over s. Woo, almost done. Multiply the numerators together. m times 1, m. s times s, s squared. That's my unit, so units. It's really not equals, I guess. So the answer is 8.9 meters per second squared. Hopefully you can see that. <laughs> Meter per second squared, basically that's. All right, that's number seven. Let's do number eight. Yeah, I'm running out of paper. Eight, finally. Ah. Eight, a bus is moving at 25 meters per second. Ah, that's what it initially is. Then he comes to a stop. Stops. Thank you, bus driver, for stopping. Letting the kids be safe. Time is three seconds. He's like slamming on that face. The kids are probably like, wish they were wearing those seatbelts they put in the bus. All right, and then it asks you, what's the acceleration? Well, if you kind of know, I'm stopping, so I'm technically I'm deaccelerating. So now I write my formula, delta V, the change in velocity is divided by the time. The change in velocity is V final minus V initial. This is important. Keep. Keep this <laughs> uh, divided by uh, time. So again, I'm going to put on all my numbers. I do 25 meters per second. Ah! 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 Oopsie daisy. It's magic. I've stopped. That's the zero, and this is the 25 meters per second divided by three seconds. Now my 25 divided by three, 25 divided by three, 8.3 meter per second divided by a second. Hopefully you guys can remember it, but a meter per second divided by a second looks like this. A meter per second. Now I take this division and I put it right here. And then I put this S, maybe I'll make it red, put it over here. So that is now written like this. Everything can be written over one without changing its factor. Uh, meters per second. Now I take my division and I flip it and I multiply now. I call my charobang. Now I take my 1 over s and I do the reciprocal. All the fun stuff. Now multiply the numerators together and then multiply the den uh, denominators together. So that's an s, that's an s. So uh, meters times 1 is meter. Seconds times a second is a second squared. So this answer is 8.3 meter per second squared. You do not have to do this. You could just... Just memorize it. Memorize it. <laughs> so, okay. Ah, ah. And I would love to hit stop.